Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Mamano. Today we are in North Carolina, Ocracoke Island, beautiful place, and we're gonna do a beautiful plein air painting. All this after the intro. In this amazing place today, I'm going to do this simple plein air painting that I did in 30 minutes because the wind was very, very strong. In this trip in North Carolina, I did three plein air painting. And this is the first one. I came here and decided this simple one and pretty quick. I, I, I wish I had more time to dedicate to this little painting, but you can see sometime during this video how the, my canvas and my porchard box was almost flying away. So I had to do very quick. So here I'm doing the sky and it was some uh, clouds in the sky. I kind of make it uh, maybe a little bit more stormy than it was, but I like it. Uh, I decide to keep it like this. Now I'm doing all the before paint the beach and uh, some of the ocean. I did uh, all the grass that I have in my left side and uh, how you can see I very keep attention to my saturation. I got some green here on uh, almost in the middle ground, but if you see the far away, grass is very dull and lighter. Now I start putting some sand. I decided to do this very simple painting because the place is so beautiful there and I really wanted to paint something and uh, just a memory of this beautiful experience that I have in uh, this week in uh, North Carolina. A painting like this is can help you a lot because it's simple but especially plain air how in this case with all this wind wasn't very easy to paint for how simple he can he can seem. How you see I move my brush very quick and I got more saturated with the color in the foreground. This is the classical painting that you can do in almost any beach you go really. So if you can follow my step here, how I didn't do, I didn't show the mixing because the mixing were pretty easy. I got some highlights on my sand, and now I'm working with the ocean and and the wet sand. It was a very nice and crazy experience. And this was my fastest and quick planner painting that I ever did. I did a lot of cut for this video, but I think it was in total like 30 minutes. It was a pretty nice painting in 30 minutes, a good exercise. Planner painting, you never know how it's going to finish. After this, I did another painting of the lighthouse and uh, I will show you maybe a video next week or in the next couple of weeks. And after my painting, I had to quit because it started raining on me and uh, I finished up the painting on uh, in my car. I'm probably going to work a little bit in my studio because that can be a very nice painting when I finish up. Now, I did this painting with only three brushes. One is a flat, a small point, and a filbert. All my brush are from Rosemary and Co. Very, very good brushes. 
and they are no expensive at all, very good quality. I always say that. They are the only brush that I use. I will put a link on the description. If you want to, you can click and go and check it out. If you buy something, click in the link, you guys will help me out. Now here I'm starting doing some detail. I'm doing this, I don't know the call, this kind of, I don't know what kind of plant they are. You guys can see there on, on the left side of the screen. And I'm using here my filbert. And after this, I will use uh, my point zero to do the same thing, but far away. As you can see, that's a very easy painting to do. So very good exercise. Sometimes you don't have to get, try to get like a very complicated composition Time easy is better. And you can see at the end there for how easy and simple it is end up to be a very nice painting. Now I always do at the beginning I try to cover my canvas, or in this case my panel with color. And I come back after, like you guys see me doing, and do all the details. So now I remember at this point the I had to cut it, I should have put it in the video, but the, my my painting box fly and end up in the floor a couple of times. Thank God I didn't mess up the painting. I was keeping with one end. It was the wind was incredible, incredible. And I'll try to do a couple more details. I wish I had a little bit more time there at the beach, but I thought that I, that I have to finish it maybe in studio, but I don't think this painting need. That's why I'm just gonna keep it like this so I finish it. And at this point, uh, this was the painting, and this was the beautiful place that I was. Incredible, beautiful. All right, guys, we are done for today. I hope you guys enjoy. It was an amazing experience. I will see you soon. Remember to subscribe my channel for more videos like this. This is the painting.